today we will learn the general form of numbers you will remember that every digit in the number has its own place can you tell at which place are 3 and 5 in the number 35 in this number 3 is at the tens place and 5 is at the units place we can write this number as 10 into 3 plus 1 into 5 Will you be able to write the number two hundred and fifty-nine like this? Try it. Absolutely correct. We will write this as hundred into two plus ten into five plus one into nine. Now suppose we have taken a number A B, which has the digits A and B. Remember that A B does not mean A into B. Can you write it in this way? Try it. We will write this as ten into a plus one into b. We call this form of the number a b the usual form of the number, and this form is called the generalized form of the number. Now, can you guess how to write the number a b c, which has the digits a b and c in its general form? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Here, a is the digit in the hundreds place, b in the tens place, and c is in the units place. So we will write a b c in its general form as hundred into a plus ten into b plus one into c. In this way, we can write any number c b a in its general form as hundred into c plus ten into b plus one into a. Here, by making a point like this, we show that there can be digits to the left of C. Now look at these digits. Can you make a number from these digits? Think for a while. We can make three-digit numbers using these digits without repeating: P Q R, P R Q, Q P R, Q R P. R P Q R Q P in this way. Suppose these digits are such that P is greater than R, greater than Q. Then what will be the largest number? Since P is the largest digit, it must be in the hundreds place. R is larger than the remaining Q, and so it must be in the tens place. And the remaining digit Q must be in the units place. In this way. P R Q will be the largest number made up of the digits P R Q. Can you guess how to write this number in its general form? It will be written as hundred into P plus ten into R plus one into Q. Suppose we interchange the positions of R and P. What will be the general form of the number R P Q thus obtained? Think for a while. We can write its general form in this way. Hundred into R plus ten into P plus one into Q. To find the difference between these two numbers, we will subtract the smaller number R P Q from the larger number P R Q. We can write P R Q minus R P Q like this. Thus, we get a result ninety P minus ninety R. That is ninety P minus R in brackets. In this way, if the digit in the hundreds and the tens place in a number are interchanged, the difference in the value of the number will be ninety p minus r in brackets. We can use it as a formula. For example, if we want to find out what will be the difference between two hundred and fifty-six and the number obtained by interchanging the digits two and five of two hundred and fifty-six, we can find it. By ninety in brackets five minus two, which will be ninety into three, which is equal to two hundred and seventy. In the same way, you can tell if the digit in the hundreds place and units place changed mutually, then how much difference will be there in the value of the number. Try it yourself. Now suppose this is the general form of a number where d, e, f, g are digits. Will you be able to find the number using its general form? Try it. 
let me tell you. We see that here the digits G is multiplied by 1000. So G must be in the place of 1000. Similarly, F is multiplied by 100. So F will definitely be a digit in the place of 100. Similarly, 10 into E tells us that E is at the tens place and 1 into D tells us that D is in the ones place. This way, the number will be GFED. Now you find out what will be the number shown in the general form. 10,000 into J plus 100 into T plus 10 into K. So today, we learned the general form of numbers. In the next video, we will see some examples related to it.